Hello viewers, welcome to my Doctor Who themed YouTube channel, Who Ventures. And in this video I'm going to show you Doctor Who Adventures magazine, issue 249 and it's dated the 29th of December 2011 to the 4th of January 2012 and it's £2.99. So it comes in a plastic goodie bag and then that's what it looks like on the back, uh, that's what it looks like on the front. Okay, let's see what the gifts are. So the first gift is this Dalek pencil set. So you get lots of pencils with all the Daleks on and then you get like Dalek pencil toppers. They're just plastic pencil toppers, they're not erasers. But they look really cute. And the other item that I got from this issue is the inflatable shark, which is real cool. So this is what the cover looks like. Hello time travellers. Happy New Year. How cool was your Christmas? Mine was all snow and presents and scary living trees. Then I had a nice Christmas dinner with Amy and Rory. And pudding. Mmm. Quick tip though. Don't use a sonic to do the washing up. It smashes all the dishes. Whoops. The doctor. Then I have Mega Moment. Episode Closing Time. Monsters. The Silence. Chosen by Jamie Greenall. That's how you spell it. Because I can't pronounce me. Tell us where. The doctor knows he's going to die, so he says goodbye to the children in the street. Hundreds of years later, River finds out what the children said, and then the silence grab her. And the doctor's saying, I'm the doctor, I'm here to help, and you are very, very welcome. That's what that page looks like. Then we have the Geronimo page, what's new in the doctor's universe. Unit files reopened. New DVD box set of Sarah Jane's past missions. In recent years, Unit has met some Tarans and Stingrays, Slovene and shan but they've been battling aliens for a very long time, and they used to do it with help from Sarah Jane Smith. The Unit Files DVD box set, out on Monday the 2nd of January, includes two of those classic adventures, Invasion of the Dinosaurs and the Android Invasion. It's perfect if you're missing Doctor Who and the Sarah Jean Adventures. Then we've got what's going on in the Wooden King's brain. 30% the Wooden Queen, 10% playing conkers, 15% thinking I've got a splinter, 20% putting down roots, 15% I hate woodpeckers, and 10% and woodworm. And as a joke, what you call a time lord with a cold? Doctor Flu. TARDIS Trend Tracker Hot Happy 2012! Yay! We bet you've got a birthday this year Even if you were born on 29th of February Just check out our crazy guide to 2012 And not is it's nearly time to go back to school If only you had a secret passage to a winter wonderland Oh well, there's always next year So that page looks like that And we have the Mega Moments, all the best bits from the brilliant Christmas special. What happens? When Madge Arwell helps the Doctor in his time of need, he decides to repay the favour by treating her family to a Christmas they will never forget. Any creatures, wooden king and queen. Mega laugh. Madge isn't impressed by the Doctor's improvements to their holiday home. Mega thrill. The Doctor escapes from an exploding spaceship and plummets to Earth, and the episode has only just begun. Mega shock. The Arwell family are reunited after Reg follows Madge home through the time vortex. Mega monster. The creepy wooden king looks like a carving until he gets up from his wooden throne. Mega scare. The Doctor screams as he takes the crown and the power of the forest flows through him. 
did you spot? The doctor says, I met the forest of Jean once. She fancied me. She did, too. Her name was Jade, and she met the ninth doctor on platform one. So that's how that page looks like. Then you have a Christmas quiz all about the Christmas episode and a very nice picture of the Doctor in the snow. Then we have the Doctor's Guide to 2012. Find out about the next 12 months from someone who's been there. January. Wow, 2012. Look at it there, all shiny and new and cold. Shiny and new and cold and full of tiny horses from outer space. Yes, January sees Earth invaded by horses so tiddly that no one notices. Except me, of course. I give them some tiny sugar lumps and they go home very happy. February. Bah! February is a rubbish month. Except in 2012, when it is absolutely brilliant. The reason scientists are unable to explain... The whole month smells faintly of black currant, except in Doncaster, where everything is a lovely shade of orange. March. A meteor in the exact shape of Dermot O'Leary's face comes dangerously close to Earth in March, but burns up in the atmosphere until it is no bigger than a pea. <laughs> that looks just like Davina McCall. Spooky. April. Just when April looks set to be the most uneventful month in recorded history, a talking dog predicts the end of the world in May. May. An embarrassing month for talking dogs, as life goes on pretty much as usual, apart from the talking dogs, which are suddenly everywhere. June. Daleks. A huge invasion fleet of Daleks lands at the CERN Nuclear Laboratory in Switzerland on the 11th of June. But before I can turn off and give them what for, the scientists there accidentally create a black hole that swallows up all the Daleks, as well as half of France. Told you so, says a passing dog. July. Ah, the Olympics. Lots of people doing runny, jumpy, throwy things, and they've not even been chased by monsters. Still, good practice for escaping that outbreak of man-eating toasters at the end of the month. August. The big fashion craze in summer 2012 is clothes made out of fish. After Lady Gaga accidentally spills a tuna sandwich all down her front, just like in every other year, bow ties are also very, very cool. September. Something so brilliantly amazing and amazingly brilliant happens this month that if I told you what it was, your head would literally explode. I am not making that mistake again. October. A whole week goes missing in October, thanks to a tiny wormy catastrophe involving the silence and an angry badger. The lost week is later found in North Wales, where the one man who lived through it describes it as rainy. November. Don't go swimming in November unless you want to get eaten by great big alien sea monsters. You won't enjoy it and neither will they. They've only come here for a relaxing holiday and it's not their fault we look exactly like their favourite kind of marmite flavoured chewing gum. December. Merry Christmas. It seems like just days ago we had the last one. That's the trouble with being a time lord. It's so easy to get mixed up. Just today, for example, I was writing a guide to 2012, and I accidentally did the whole thing about 2013. Mm, oh dear. Is there room to start again? Fast back. The 2005 episode Dalek and the 2006 story Fear Her are both set in the year 2012. So that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Then the competitions of this particular issue are to win a Star Wars lightsaber and win the personalised your sonic screwdriver set. And in the ARC comic strip, it seems they're going down to the sales at Samson and Ranger to buy a lot of things. And that looks like the wedding chair at the door. <laughs> That's so funny. Cute. Now we have, in the TARDIS scanner, we have all about the wooden king and queen. See, that looks really cool. 
talk all about our mental power, our voice, bodies, crown, hatching, feelings and predicting. Fast fact, the forest's life force can only be transported by a female and it's best if she is a mother. Even a Time Lord mind isn't strong enough to hold it. Then we have an interview with Holly Earl and Maurice Cole all about being in the Christmas special. Which is really cool. Fast fact, Holly and Maurice love Doctor Who. Holly was scared of the peg dolls and Maurice likes the Cybermen. Then we have a picture of the Christmas episode, which is really cool. And we have Monster Promises, Deadly New Year's Resolutions for 2012. Well, darling, it's my star plan as to appear and more episodes of Doctor Who. Also, we will exterminate the Doctor and his friends. And everyone who's ever met, and everyone else, exterminate, exterminate, sign your command. I have three resolutions. Eat more fresh fruit and vegetables. Wear more colours. Maybe pastel blue or purple. Destroy that wretched doctor, Kaberi. I will stop trying to be someone I'm not. People should love me for who I am. Cinnamon. Honestly. In 2012, I will recycle more and try to be greener. Wooden queen. I won't eat any more humans unless they really deserve it. Or I am very hungry. Madam Bastry. I will try to be less shy and retiring. Love from Colin the Minotaur. Oh, cute. And the comic strip is... Humans aren't just for Christmas, and it's like a Thundercats, you've got lion people, so that's really cute. And it's quickly and roly. Oh, there's like cats that are people. That is adorable. That is such a cute comic strip. And then you've got this subscribe to date page. And the backstage secrets are about how they made the amazing opening scene where the doctor fell through space in the Christmas special episode. So they did it all with this blue screen and green screen. There we have the Doctor Doctor page. Dear Doctor, do you have any brothers and sisters? Memory's a bit fuzzy when it comes to family. Captain Jack and Martha Jones, remember them? Thought the master was my secret brother. But well, that would have been just ridiculous, wouldn't it? He's all sneaky and scheming, and I never, ever, ever scheme unless I really have to. I do sneak around a lot, though, so I suppose we have that in common. And the master's saying, his brother, I'm way too cool to be his brother. <laughs> what did my function? The doctor. My drawers keep trying to suck me in. What should I do? Love a bit of DIY, me. Forever tinkering with the TARDIS desktop wallpaper. Might take things a bit disco next time. Install a mirror ball and place it time routing. If you really must have drawers, make sure they're not infested with ball moths. Tiny alien invaders that colonise any drawer that isn't fitted with a force field. You do have one, don't you? Dear Doctor, if you were eaten by Vashti Narada, would you be able to regenerate? If they swallowed me whole, then yes, probably. Fat chance of that happening, though. Vashti Narada don't tend to swallow their victims whole. It's more a kind of frenzied nibbling. Terrible nibblers they are. You should see the state of their nails. It's criminal. They're not as bothered about bones. So if you see one coming, disguise yourself as a skeleton. You should be fine. Kaveria tells it like this. Dear Madam Kaveria, What are your hobbies? Do you like chess? Madam K replies, Moving pieces on a board, even with millions of faults running through them, is for children. Moving pieces in real life is far more satisfying. Scheming and manipulating is something I've excelled at since I was eight years old. 
when I won first prize with a turnip in the shape of Justin Bieber's head. So that's that page. Then on the upload page, we got some balloon added page, which is really cute. And that's a brilliant art and a brilliant costume and side on that model. Yay. Then we have the Monster Crown Watch file, it's about the side leader, the evidence says the end very stuff. We got crime scene victim Jackson Lake, crime scene accomplice Cyber King, and crime scene accomplice Miss Hartigan. And the Jadoon judgment is that he's guilty. So that's that page. Then that's a puzzle. And we have Ultimate Dalek Collection, Dalek Sack. First seen in the 10th Doctor episode, Army of Ghosts, 2006. Sack led the Cult of Scarrow, an unusual group of Daleks that used their imaginations to think of ways to win the Time War. After the war, Sack turned himself into a Dalek human hybrid. Yay! Then in the next issue there is a free postcard notebook and a Doctor Who pen. Then you can win lots of the Who toys, design a new hat for the Doctor and there's an interview with a monitor. And the Who said bit says, Who said your brain is completely see-through? Find out next week. And the previous issue's answer is the Doctor in the Doctor, the Widow and the Wardrobe. Don't miss it. On sale. Thursday, the 5th of January. So that is all you could use in this particular issue. I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Yay!